the veterans tax exemption as required. Um, at this time, the board can discuss and explore different levels of possible exemptions if they so choose to adopt. Um, there is not another presentation, but you are free to ask questions. Um, once the board has finished asking questions, the president will open it up to the community. And again, please feel free to ask any questions or make comments. This public hearing is scheduled to end at 7 p.m. are adopting levels similar to what their municipalities are adopting? Would you uh, say that that's accurate? It's, it's not, uh, I shouldn't say, I wouldn't say the majority are. No. I would, um, I would say that there, tend, there, there was a, um, a tendency to test the waters to see what the impact would be in one year. Um, again, stating what, what I had heard Everyone BOCES, um, business officials uh, made a recommendation to start at a lower level, test it, and it can be simple resolution of the board again in another year to gradually increase it to see how that's going to impact your budget. Will that require future public hearings to do that increase? I, I, I don't I don't know, but I would think so. that lists the different levels. Which level is the basic state level that doesn't require a separate hearing? Um, is it that, level? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, but it's kind of a moot point that you're I thought it was me. I thought it was me. No, it wasn't me. That's, so it's Erie County. That's level. our level. Right. And, yes. and, and, the yes. and the town of Holland. And the town of Holland. And then I have down Sardinia has D. Has right, they have different levels. Right. right. And the examples you provided us used level D. Correct. Right. Because Holland and the county were at level E, and the majority of your uh, veterans were within the county. I can pass this around. We usually get it up on the way. 
Now, why would there be a level C? Why would why is C not why is zero? But would you adopt it and then maybe you could, I don't know, change it at a different point? I, I don't know what the reason. Because you can change
address the board. So that's all we ask is that you just come up to the mic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't anybody holler at me. <laughs> I won't say I don't like it. You're hollered at. You're in Kingston. I've been in Holland Legion. Lived in Holland for 30, 40 years now. My kids graduated from here. I'm very proud of their education. There's a question on our Erie County rate. Well, Holland is 94%. What the, what the rate is, would it be the same in Wyoming County? There's a person that asked me, is it the same as Wyoming County? Is it going to be about the same tax break for them? Does it run about the same? Well, Wyoming County, the two towns it were assessed a little bit lower. One was 86% and one was 89 So instead of multiplying those caps times the levels of, and then multiplying it by 94, you'd multiply it by the rate of your equalization for your town. So either 89 or 86 so it would be a little bit lower. Um, some of, I think Aurora has, one of the towns has like a 46%, so they would get less than half of that amount because it's multiplied by your equalization rate. Thank you. So it depends on what town you live in. Yeah, I live in Howell. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. I think you can hear me pretty well from here. Uh, does the, uh, uh, Exemption continue or, or stop when the uh, veteran uh, expires? Surviving spouse. Unremarried surviving spouse is entitled to the exemption. And, and the second part of that is, is there a mechanism where the district is informed on a periodic or annual basis the number of veterans and who comes into this district, who has left the district, so that there isn't a uh, uh, period where the district is uh, going on with unknown information? Mm -hmm. Yes, the, uh, that's the job of the local assessor to certify uh, the totals to the district. And it's a very simple report that shows a code, a description, it would say all vets, school tax purpose, and the number of veterans. They wouldn't know the people in order to know who came in or who was taken off. The, they would have to request, you know, such a detailed report from the assessor. So the dist the board will be informed. The board okay. gets totals every year. They yeah. get a certification from the assessor of every every exemption, every star exemption totals numbers, like we showed you today. But if they wanted a more a custom report, they could request that of the town. If the town can't do it, then we could provide it. So it would be the responsibility of the assessor to keep that updated, who moved into the district and who moved who applied, out of the district? Who applied, who passed away, that's the assessor's job. All right, thank it's you. Not the, that's not the district's role in the project. Does anyone else have any questions? the board have any other questions? Well then I think we can close the, our second public hearing now and our special board meeting is scheduled to begin at 7 p.m.